Matane everyone, this is David, and tonight we are unboxing the Gundam Portent to the 1144 HG Build Fighters kit. Um, this is a member of the Team Celestial, Shia Kojima, um, in her mobile suit, the lovely G Portent. Here's our box art. And I am so excited to see this one put together. Okay. Take the plastic band off. My local retailer. And that way the oh yeah, so the price tag isn't. Yeah, on so it doesn't. Box. Yeah, the box is completely fine. Mm. Okay. So it looks like we've got a couple of stickers, some nice foil pieces here, mm. um, lots of reflective bits. I was pretty cool with the stickers on the um, the winning. Oh yeah, on the star winning, right? Oh, star winning. So you know, I'm not worried about them here, are they? This looks like a completely unique runner. This is a little soft. I'm not sure why that is. Um, very, it's a lot of slender pieces, that's why. Uh, very narrow gates. And then we have our big white runner with all of our limbs. Mm. Um, this is definitely, definitely coming from a double O kit. Yeah. Um, but this is also a unique runner. Now I believe that the G Portent actually comes from the worker robots at the very end of um, Awakening of the Trailblazer hmm. um, that are briefly shown. Um, I love this green color. Mm. It's very organic. has a sort of leafy look to it. Yeah. We have... Is it more of the soft gray? Yes, this is um, the B2 runner, so it's mm. just a complement to that other runner. Mm. And then we have this really soft pale green. Yeah, mint. Yeah, um, and it is it is lovely. Mm. So far, every single one of these runners has been unique. Yeah, and she's kind of perfect bright. for St. Patrick's Day, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday bill. Yeah. Okay, and then we have this weapon piece here. Mm. Even her guns look delicate. Yeah, they do. And then our polycaps, nothing right home about these are standard polycaps. Mm -hmm. And then we have a couple of yellow pieces here. Um, looks like the skirts and the chest accents. Mm -hmm. She comes with a stand? She does come with a stand, and it's actually not the standard stand. This no. is a... Um, this is a really lovely effect part stand mm. um, and it's primed for a lot of extra pieces being put to it. That's mm. kind of cool. And then we have this white runner that is full of wings and things. Mm. Um, Five blade pieces. Don't yeah. Those. Gives her a nice edgy look. And then our last runner bag. First, we have um, four beam saber pieces, two shorts, two longs. And then we have all of these lovely things. That's a beautiful sword piece. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have all of the, um, the shoulder accents um, the, and what would be the GN um, compressors <laughs> on a double O kit. Mm -hmm. um, so this is gonna be a gorgeous kit. I'm really excited. Now let's check out this book book here. Literific. She is. And in fact, the advice bit actually suggests that you use glittery foil paper, which we are going to be doing. Okay. This, this is, the, it's funny, these specifically, a lot of these reference um, things that you can buy at the Daiso, which is basically the dollar store. It's a hundred yen shop. Um, so we got some of that. We're going to be putting that on there. Um, now we've got, you know, our little talking about the type of kit. So we've got our Nodley and our Nobel there. Mm. Um, but it's definitely 
the double O derivative, but it's completely unique. Every every runner in the kit is its own. That's kind of cool. That looks pretty simple. Um, I, it looks like a basic, like this is about the same as an Exia as far as the build goes with mm. a little bit more complicated backpack, which is kind of cool. And then we've of course got a stand that's super simple. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a pretty kit. Mm -hmm. uh, we will throw this together as soon as we can and get this up for review. Um, well, matane everyone, like, subscribe, everything like that, you know. Matane.